Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Philip Sunkel. I'm a realtor with Alex McWilliam Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida. Today, we're at my listing at 3003 Calcutta Drive. The home is priced at $2,350,000. The house is 4,988 square feet. It's a huge house. You've got seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, a media loft, a huge pool, and tons of room to play. Let's go take a look. Here we have the front of the house. You do have three separate driveways for the home. You have one here, one right here, it is a U-shape, and then one on the other side of the home here. You can see the home is a stately Key West style home. This is the main residence with four ba bedrooms, four bathrooms. And here is the carriage house, which has three bedrooms and the garage. And just across the street from the home, you do have this absolutely stunning dock. It does accommodate a 24 foot boat. You do have Trex wood planking here on the dock. The dock is in absolutely excellent condition and it is a covered dock. You can see here, you've got this absolutely wonderful canal. This does lead out to the intracoastal waterway. You're about five to 10 minutes out to the, to the open water. Now let's go in and we'll take a look inside the house. Here's a different angle of the front of the home. You do have this really nice seating area here to look out to the boats. Let's head in. Upon entering the home, you do have this nice foyer entry area here. Some beautiful wainscoting, beautiful coral reef style chandelier, and a really nice mosaic tile inlay here. You do have shellstone flooring throughout the first floor. On your left side, you do have a small powder room, and this does lead out to a exterior shower area, which does connect to the rest of the pool area, so you have access from the boat. Moving into the home past the foyer area, you do have this lovely picture window here looking out over the small garden area right over here. You have that outdoor shower area here and this decking leads over to the pool area. Headed this way, you do have the master suite of the home. It is quite a large area. And you do have a view of the boat docks as well from the master suite here. And here's another angle of this absolutely stately master suite. There's this gorgeous wood flooring in here. And you do have this wood flooring upstairs underneath the carpet areas, which we'll see in a short bit. Here's the first closet. This is his closet. We do have a good amount of room and it does go up. So there is no shortage of storage space within this home. And just across the way here, we do have her closet and it is a bit bigger than his. You do have these wonderful built-ins here. And again, the storage does go all the way to the ceiling. Then from the closet areas, you do have the master bath right here. You do have a water closet right through here. And then what is really convenient about this bath is that you do have this access door into the mud room slash laundry room area, which does have an access out to the carport. And then you've got these really custom wood lockers here in the mud room so the kids can come home, throw their stuff in their locker, put their backpacks up there, everything stays nice and neat. And then you have another access way, which brings us back out to the entry hallway area. And we'll get another look at it this way. Look how beautiful the detail is in this house. 
you have another access way here back out to the porch patio area. It is screened in closer to the pool. You do have electronic retractable screens. Right now they are up. And now we're moving into the open concept dining living room area of the home. You do have a wonderful gas fireplace here. The home does have 750 gallons of propane buried on the property. It heats everything that can be heated. You do have a tankless water heater. You have a pool and a spa. It is salt water that is also on the heater. You have a gas, uh, gas stove top up here, excuse me. And here is another angle of the living room, dining room areas. I think with a little change of furniture in this space, you could really make this into an absolutely stunning home. There really are not many updates which do need to be made. This is one of my favorite features within the living room space. Brings in a lot of light. And here is this wonderful custom kitchen with this butcher block up here. This is actually the stairway area up to the second story in the main residence. You do have limestone countertops here. And you have a beautiful view looking out onto your property. And this is a little unique for a mainland home. You do have a semi butler's pantry back here with another refrigerator. Tons of storage in your pantry area. You can see that these folks keep everything very neat. Um, they are preparing to move out, but you have a lot of room. And then this also has an access out to the carport area, which we can check out. This is that third driveway area I mentioned. You have some of your utility equipment here. You can keep your trash cans there. And then turning around here, you do have an additional backyard area that's very underutilized at the moment. It's quite large, but heading over here, we can also see that the home does have a fully hardwired camera system as well as a security system. And this little space right back here is an additional storage closet. The owners like to keep their boat equipment in that area as well. Now heading down from the kitchen, we do have the dining area here. And then a view of the outdoor area. All of the windows and doors are impact glass. So you have nothing to worry about. The home is also concrete block construction and the home does not sit within the flood zone. So your insurance over here on the mainland will be significantly less expensive than over on the beach side for a similar home. However, to find a home with so much space for such a large family is extremely rare in Vero Beach, especially for a home so centrally located as this one is in the heart of Vero Beach. <clears throat> so now let's take a trip upstairs in the home. You do have a small landing here when you first step in. It does have this wonderful little desk area here with limestone counter as well with a little view. And then we'll head up these stairs here. The owners currently use this area as a media loft. So they love to watch their movies up here. It is wired for surround sound. You do have a little movie bar kitchenette here with a refrigerator and microwave. And then just off of that, you do have a large power room. Heading into the media loft area, you'll see that there is a lot of space. There's a little nook over here for a desk area. And turning around, we can start to make out some of this wonderful detail in the ceiling as well. And then one of my favorite parts of this room in general is this incredible custom window behind the TV here. And just look at that, you don't see that every day. 
heading on from the media loft area. We do have our first bedroom. This is probably the primary bedroom over here. And then you have two additional bedrooms on this end. Again, you have another nook area, which could be good for a desk. You have storage here and another storage closet on that end. But let's head into this primary bedroom. A really good size space. Every bedroom in this home does have a ample sized walk-in closet with built-ins. And heading into the bathroom, this is the bathroom for all three bedrooms upstairs. It is quite large, there are three sinks. You do have a water closet here. And then in here you have a combination shower and tub space. And one thing I do want to show you real quick is this other angle of this wonderful suite right here. Now turning around, heading through this door, we can go to the other two bedrooms upstairs. Here is the first of the two bedrooms. And again, you do have a substantially sized walk-in closet. The view from this room is absolutely wonderful. You have a gorgeous view of the boat and the oak tree. Now headed back out through this way, we do have the last bedroom upstairs. So let's take a look there. This is the room the sellers affectionately call the blue room. And this also has a substantially sized walk-in closet. There is no shortage of storage space. Now turning back around, you'll see again, you have these oversized windows and even better, you do have a view of the hardwired camera system. So you can see some of the locations where the cameras are pointing. And then heading over here to the view, another view of the oak tree and also the docks. Headed back out, we do have that little desk nook right here with another oversized large window overlooking the property itself and the carriage house. And here is another angle of the media loft space. And now we will head out into the oasis of a backyard. It is quite large, especially for this area. Welcome to your oasis of a backyard. It is not only peaceful, but it is extremely private. The entire backyard area space is fenced in. So if you have some furry friends or you have kids, you don't need to worry. Everything is fenced in. You can see they have their grill area over here. It is hooked up to the propane tank as well. Here is the spa area. This is large enough to fit about 10 to 12 people. It is very large. The pool is about 60 feet long and about 10 feet deep. So a lot of space to entertain out here, probably even more to do some customizing. It is quite a unique space. Here is the front garden area, where if you were coming back in off the boat, you would probably come in through this gate here. You can see the boat just on the other side there. And you would walk along this path here and then that outdoor shower and bathroom are right there. So turning back around to the pool area, we'll head over to the fire pit and we'll get another look at this absolutely stunning saltwater pool.
Here is the fire pit area. This is also hooked up to the gas tank. And then you do have some green space here. The property is 0.6 of an acre. And then you have your seating area down here for what we refer to as the in-law suite. So far, this would be our fifth bedroom on the tour of 3003 Calcutta Drive. This room does have two refrigerators as well as hardwired surround sound stereo. And this room does have a full bathroom as well. Here is a, another angle of the in-law suite area. And if, here is the kitchenette area again. If you wanted to make this into a full kitchen, it really would not be that hard. You just need two burners and a small sink. The plumbing is directly above from an additional bathroom upstairs. Now headed through this door over here, you do have access to the two car pass through garage area. And you have tons of storage. You'll see right now that this Porsche over here is sitting on an auto lift. The auto lift does come with the home. When both garage doors are open, you do get a really nice cross breeze in the garage area. You do have some windows over here, but tons of room to work, tons of room to play. It is an amazing man cave. So headed back out through these doors, we'll head up to two additional bedrooms as well as our last full bathroom of the home. Now, before I show you inside, I just wanna show you this absolutely stellar balcony that overlooks the outdoor area of the home. You can see that the current owners are repairing anything that needs to be done. This wood here is just waiting to be stained. So heading in, you do have that full bath here. You have one of the bedrooms here and another bedroom here. We'll take a look at the larger one first. You can see the sellers are currently using both of these rooms as their office space. This room is a suite and is attached to this bathroom. As you can see, not much needs to be done in this home. Very rare for a home this size in Vero Beach to not need much work at all. That's it for the carriage house. And just look at this incredible view of this home. You feel like you're in the Keys without that price tag of the Keys and getting a home this size down further south, we're talking maybe double to triple the price. This is a quite unique home, especially for this area. Thank you for joining me on this tour of 3003 Calcutta Drive in Vero Beach, Florida. Again, my name is Philip Sunkel. I'm a realtor with Alex McWilliam Real Estate in Vero Beach, Florida. My phone number is 772-538-2339. My email is phil at alexmcwilliam.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to get more of my videos. I'm constantly showing videos of my homes as well as some other agents, and also tours of different areas of Vero Beach. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to meet you soon. Have a great day.